Just when you thought the Intel Itanium was a dead CPU architecture in every way, shape, and form, Debian Ports brings you IA64 Linux with a modern day kernel. Look at that, 2019. Modern day kernel, dead CPU architecture on a nice working Itanium. That's right. Debian Ports now has a working version of Debian for the Itanium. This is an RX2620. Little common Itanium server, at least in the 2U form factor that wasn't like some huge, huge, like 4 CPU, 8 CPU type of deal that would probably kill your power bill and need 3 phase power to run. This is a bit smaller than that, but I've got 12 gigs of RAM in here and it's working just fine. Look, the thing I like about Debian ports is that they've been keeping Debian up to date or Debian or however you want to pronounce it on non-x86 architectures, on PowerPC64, on Spark, on Itanium, on uh, PA Risk, on Alpha. You can get Linux for all these old CPU architectures and actually do something a bit interesting with an old computer from this era without having to fiddle around with an OS 2 out of date. Let's uh, control delete this real quick. Let's reboot this thing and I'll show you. A little bit hard to control delete with one hand and the other hand having a camera, but as you can see, it's doing a little light dance. This is, um, so this is an Intel Itanium system. For those who don't know, Itanium was going to be this big CPU that was going to replace x86 and it didn't because it was incompatible with x86 unlike AMD 64 it didn't even have a backwards compatibility mode in it that could run the old OS's I mean it had a shitty x86 emulator in it that couldn't do anything but so as you can see this is a mid 2000's uh, system with the Intel Itanium CPU and Debian ports makes it work Linux on an Itanium pretty rare because A, with the Itanium everything has to be ported to Itanium and B, the big thing is, and I'll show you in a second the big one is a lot of people who got these systems did not install Linux or Windows well Windows was garbage but um, they installed HPUX, they installed OpenVMS these aren't installed anymore by the way because it's going to say not found these are dead EFI entries I gotta clear out kind of like modern EFI systems or UFI systems. So this is EFI, it's a predecessor to UFI. And we've got now on Debian for Itanium along with Debian for uh, PowerPC and Debian for Spark, I think. Though I haven't really tried it, I think they did this on Debian Spark too. They went to Grub. GNU Grub, now on Itanium. It wasn't on Itanium before, now it is. You get advanced options. Um, we've got here, we can go and edit. And I'm going to go and uh, delete the quiet entry. Smash F10. Loading Kinley. I'm going to delete that entry because I want you to see this HINV, or not HINV, uh, uh, what, what, what's the command? Uh, D message. I want you to see D message flash on this system as it boots along with system D. Black screen for the mode to set. Now there's actually a bug here with mode setting if you don't install the firmware. But with Debian, if you install the firmware, like mode setting will work, but if you don't, it'll freeze. So you have to, um, you have to basically, I'm going to log in real quick. So what you have to do with these systems is you have to, you have to basically, while it mode sets, you have to, you have to install the firmware after you disable mode setting, and then you have to, uh, reboot. And you have to grab the dev files to do it. I mean, it, it's sort of a compromise between... It's a compromise that pleases nobody for, I mean, it was sort of for like the FSF and because and, they're against firmware blobs, but the thing is, 
A, it can be a thorn in the side for normal users, and B, it's still not on the FSF approved list. But once you do that, well, Debian IA64 works. So this is Debian IA64, and as you can see, I've got 12 gigs of RAM, two CPUs. This isn't a dual core model. It works great. I mean, if you want to do basic server stuff, or mess around with Linux on a non x86 platform, which a lot of people don't do because they prefer their Linux on x86, or they prefer doing, um, using non x86 platforms for other OSs because it's, it's heresy, and it's heresy if you run Linux on a non x86 platform because, oh, oh, you should be running the original OS it came with, even if there's like no software for it. But running Linux is something I like to do for fun on non x86 platforms. I know there are some hobbyists who feel the same, considering how Debian ports has stuff for it. But one big issue with old servers from this era is they use SCSI hard disks, which A are size limited for the most part, and B, Basically, this system only has three SCSI hard disk slots, unlike a lot of them because the power supplies for this are located in the front and a wire runs to the back of the system. So the system only has three hard drives on top of being SCSI only. So you can't really use this system as a fancy file server too much. I mean, I did that with my PA Risk box a few years ago, but like... If you're doing data hoarding, you'd best get, like, an, a generic x86 Dell server with, like, with, like, 8 hard drive, 3.5 bays, and then, like, shove in some 6 terabyte drives. I mean, that that's some good stuff right there, especially for when huge image archives go offline just like that. I mean, everybody's, like, everybody takes the internet for granted. People take streaming for granted. And just like that, that could go offline, just like an image archive did the other day. So, this system isn't the best for file servers, but for other uses, you want to have fun with the non-XA6 system, here you go. A lot of hobbyists don't do this because they'd rather run VMS on here, or maybe HPUX, but if you want to have some fun with Itanium and you want Linux, this will run great. It's better than running something like Windows Server, which is complete garbage on Itanium. But there you have it. Linux for IA64 in 2019. 2019 Linux. There you go. Debian ports is great, by the way, if you want to save some, like, weird Unix box or non-X86 box from the dumpster, or sitting on your shelf rotting, doing nothing because nothing runs on it, you want to save it from that fate, pop Debian on it from the Debian ports project. You'll have so much fun, guaranteed. All on an Itanium. Fun, ain't it? Because to me, it's fun. I love being a nerd. It's it's fun. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.